it's back, it's back, the other side of this week. Happy Wednesday, everybody, and good news from Boris. Mm. I don't know when you'll be restarting the group live, but uh, I guess around May the 23rd <laughs> would be a good guess. Um, oh, it's just wonderful, isn't it? It's just wonderful. So uh, we'll be out of this mire shortly. We've just got to stick with it for a few more weeks. Good evening, Sue Longsdale. Hope you're well. Haven't seen any of your lovely bike ride pictures recently, but hope we do soon. Hi Linda Lewis, hi everybody, my glasses are getting worse, it's been a year since I should have had them renewed, I'm not going to go until I can go safely, so I'm struggling to see at the bottom of them now because uh, obviously I'm getting older, um, hope you're well, hope everybody's well this week and that we can get on with some songs, uh, I've made a couple of changes to this week's programme, A, I've reintroduced the cider which will make a big difference to everybody, hello John, hi uh, Angela, uh, but I've also written down what I believe are the songs that we've got to play next so that we don't, I don't have to faff around looking for them to make my life a bit easier there. And uh, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about in music-wise as well. So uh, we'll, we'll get that on, I hope. Um, yeah, we're going to start with Mum I Don't Allow No, which we usually finish with, but we're starting with this week. So I uh, hope you don't mind me wearing my old sweatshirt tonight. I've been out working on the farm again today. So it's been a busy old, busy old day. Moving bricks and concrete and rubble, it's like when I was 17 again. Um, hello, Sue Staples. Good evening. Hope you're well. Uh, Sue Longstow, you keep popping up, so I'm wondering if you're being hacked or something. Hi, Sue Maloney. Uh, hi, John Collis. Sue Longstow, you're popping up every two minutes. Hi, Dave, and it's going to be a long something. Margaret Cop, hello, Dave. Hope it's well with you and everyone. Yes, it is. It's going to be a long time till. May, uh, June comes along in our heads for a moment, but it won't be long. I tell you, you think how fast the last year has gone. So, right, okay, we're going to start with Mum, I Don't Allow. And it's uh, there's half a dozen of us. Hi, Sue. Sue Hillier, hope you're well. Well, you're all well, because you're there, so that's good. Let's pull my sleeves up. I don't like playing with my sleeves down on my uke. Right, okay, Mum, I Don't Allow. Now, the only thing I want to say about this song is, there's a lovely little thing you can do with this, and we've discussed it in previous weeks, back in the summer especially. If you play the C with your third finger, with your ring finger, and then you play, hi Jeanette, and then you play a C sus4, which just involves putting your first finger on the second string in the first fret. Now you know that rock and roll sound you get when you hear a rock and roll song? This thing, I can't love. It's that rock and rolly thing. Hi Barry. Yeah, all good down here. Uh, so I want you to put your third, your ring finger on the C. And then I want you to use your first finger, if you're confident enough, to just play the um, E string in the first fret. So you're going to get that sort of rock and roll feel. Okay, it's so that sort of thing, but we're going to go. come to play in the C7 you, you don't you play it or don't play up to you when you get to the G7 you put the G7 on which is a normal G7 then you use your little finger to come onto the C and play the C note at the same time so you're going to get this for the C note C chord and then when it comes around to little finger on that C. Okay? And back to the one we were doing before. Don't care mama don't allow. So you just play it normal all chords for the F. F C is just an F and use your little finger to play the C at the same time. Okay then we're back to the C. Mama don't allow. No you can really play around here. Yes, hopefully Mike Hinley. Although you won't see me actually on April the 12th, sadly, because the day it opens, April the 12th, I've actually got to travel to Bristol um, to see my dentist that I haven't seen for over a year. And I want to go and see him. I've got no problems. And I'm in touch with. I won't have any, but I've got to go and see him. So uh, that's the day it's booked for. So I shan't be on site that night. But I shall be uh, the next day. Right, here we go then. Mama not allow. Using those little tips. Are we ready? So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Four beats and we're in. You ready? One, two, three, four. Mama don't allow my music play around here. Play the C7 if you want. Mama don't allow my music play around here. We don't care what mama don't allow. We're gonna play our music anyhow. Mama don't allow no music play around here. Now a straight verse. 
Yes, that's what we need. We need a little bit of rock and roll feel to it. It's very hard on the ukulele to play a rock and roll sound, but C allows you to do it with that C, sus4, off. On. Have a little practice with that. Just play your C slowly. Okay, really good. Okay, mama don't allow. Next one is singing the blues. We're working our way through this book now. Tonight we might actually get right round it unless I spend too long talking, which is quite possible, uh, as you know. So singing the blues, let me find that. It's here somewhere. Here we go. So we've got an introductory verse. Uh, so if you want to play a solo over that, once again we're in C major or the A minor scale. A minor is three, open, three, open, two, open, two, open. Up to you. Here we go. It's going to be a cat five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I never felt more like singing the blues Because I never thought Here we go Well, I never felt more like singing the blues Because I never thought And I never song nice little song okay now one of uh, Sue Lonsdale's favorites coming up this right now and that is these boots are made for walking as we move into the T section uh, so don't forget there's a little thing at the top there uh, the rundown on the C string which is your second string down all right G C E A on the C string and you go from nine so if you look up where your dots are on your neck there's usually a dot at seven you're going to go from the two up from that, nine, it just goes. Then you play the A. Okay, that's called a chromatic run. So if you play. Okay, and you're in. You keep saying. So this song's got a bit of attitude to it. Now, if you want to play a harmony to yourself, you can play nine on the C. And 10 on the E and follow that all the way down the same until you get to the very last zero fret when you play two zero so you're gonna go okay when you play the two you play on its own and then open so it's nine ten together eight nine uh, seven, eight, six, seven, five, six, four, five, three, four, open, and then the A. If you want to play it as a harmony with yourself, all right? So when you're playing it on your own, it makes it a bit more interesting. You go. Now I do use a pick for this. And what I do with the pick is, I'm very careful with the... 
down fine. But then when I come to play in the chords, I'm sort of going and using the top of my finger rather than the plectrum. So if I use the plectrum, it'd be you keep saying you have very loud. So you want to go. So you're muting the strings with your palm a little bit, and you're using your finger and the top of the plectrum to play. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. song isn't it nice little walk down as well something to work with it's lovely good okay now I just want to take you to a video I did in the week that was put online uh, for uh, Runaway I uh, hope Alan's on I don't know if he is I hope he is but he'll catch up anyway um, Alan sent me his tabbed version of it. he's going to put online for you to make it easy for you to learn um, uh, so we're just looking at the solo for that for Runaway if you can grab that up quickly now the solo is a minor, G, F and E7. It's played in two bars of A minor, two bars of G, two bars of F, two bars of E7. The solo is tricky to play. I'm going to walk through it very slowly now with you. So if you imagine that we're playing A minor in the solo now. So get your A minor ready. And we go. That's two bars of A minor. G. One bar B7 with just one note. And then you play E7 again for another bar. And that solo over there is going to go like this. So I hope you can see. Um, refer back to this one if you can't find the other videos. They should be online. But I played it slightly different to how Alan tabbed it. So here we go. This is what I want you to play if you're going to play this solo. It's easy to learn and learn it in segments. So let's learn the A minor part. So over the A minors, two A minors, we're playing 
top string, 12, 11, 12, 7, 8, 7, you can hear that can't you? Okay, that's the first part, you play that twice, and again for the A minor, that's the A minor part, so you're playing 12, 11, 12, 7, 8, 7, and again, 12, 11, 12, 7, 8, 7, now you're going to play what is effectively a minor chord, and you're going to play it by putting your first finger on the 10th uh, fret, on the E and the A string, and then you're going to put your second finger on the C string in the 11th fret, and you play that as a chord. Well, I could work that out, and I might do that in a minute and come back to you. You play that as a chord, okay, for the first of the G's, and then you play 9, 10 on the top string, 9, 10 on the E string, then you play 10, 11 on the C string, that's the first G chord covered. So you're going to go. And then you're going to go for the next G. It starts with this note, which is 11, 12 on the bottom G. And then back down for what you've played. So it's going to go chord. It's 10 and 11. 9, 10. 9, 10. 11, uh, 10, 11, 11, 12, walk back up, 10, 11, 9, 10, 9, 10, and that's the G's done, okay, then we go to the next thing, which is exactly the same style of chord, so first finger holding two strings at the 8th fret, and one string above it, the C string, above it at the ninth. same chord, okay, and then we play on the top string, uh, 7, 8, then 8 on the E string, 9 on the C string, back to 8, that's that first part of that F chord, and then do the same again, so two fingers on 8, one finger on 9, and then 7, 8 on the A string, 8 on the E string, 9 on the C string, 8 on the E string, that's that done, and then the first part of E7, just play the 7th fret on the top string, and then you play this little run, which is uh, 6 to 7, just hammer, hammer on, nothing more than that, and then 3 to 5, and then 2 to 3, then open a 2. And the whole thing, I'm going to play it very slowly, but it should sound like this. the whole solo okay so let's just play that over the chords I'm gonna play these chords really slow then you're back into the song okay so I hope that clears that up a little bit and, um, and, and you can get round to learning that solo because what else you got to do for six weeks? Nothing. The pub's done up until April the 12th, so go and learn it. Okay, moving on. Next song. Uh, what a day for a daydream. We're on the W's again. What a day for a daydream. So I hope that helps, really helps that runaway thing. Uh, you might not want to learn it, but if you do, you're one of the ones a bit more advanced, you want to learn it, go ahead and try it. It's brilliant. Um, and thanks to Paul Berenson for tapping it about three years ago for me. But thank you, Paul. What a day for a daydream. Let me find that. What a day for a daydream. Here we go. And Sue just said she really enjoyed playing her last one. Good. I'm glad, Sue. That's what we're here for. Bit of fun. Okay. Are we ready? Count to four. Starting to see everybody ready. Can it just nod your heads? Good. Okay. One, 
Whistling's not very good, I know, I know. Good evening, Keith, hope you're well. See you on April the 12th, or thereabouts. Okay, um, next song, Your Cheating Heart. Yeah, it's so much easier tonight now that I've sorted out the, the things. Oh, yeah, we'll do Cheating Heart. Yeah, and then I want to do something else with you. Okay, Your Cheating Heart, lovely song. Now there's a solo in C or A minor again, um, as been mentioned. I told you, you already know the C major scale, which is... Uh, top string, 3-2, next string, 5-3, next string, 5-4, 2, open. Church bells. Now, we already know the A minor scale, which is 3 open, 3 open, 2 open, 2 open. There's two notes you can add in there, just to make it a bit more interesting. So let's go on the top string, 3-2, on the E string. Three, two, uh, sorry, three, one. Sorry, let's start again. E, uh, A string, three, two. E string, three, two. And then two, open, two, open. Now go on any song in the key of C, okay? So, yes, Keith. Yes, I totally agree with you. Uh, it's not so much having a beer, is it? It's seeing your mates and having a chat. I've been really, really self-isolating this time. So, well, I did last time and the time before, whenever it was. But anyway, here we go. You're cheating hard. Uh, count of five. Should be a count of six, really, I think. But count of five. One, two, three, four, five. You're cheating hard. We'll make you. Cheating. 
beating heart will pine someday and crave the love you threw away. A time will come when you When tears come down Like falling rain You toss around And call my name You'll walk the floor The way I do You're cheating Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's a message there from Angela saying, how's Pete doing now? Well, Pete today is doing absolutely brilliantly. Um, we've been keeping in touch with him every, well, it was every day for a little while and then every two days. Um, rang him today. Uh, the thing with Pete was he had another problem last week and had to be rushed back in the hospital and he was really, really down in the dumps. Um, but he's back home again and he's been home now for about uh, four days, I would say. Uh, what day are we? Wednesday? Uh, no, probably three days. Came home on Monday. Um, they've changed his medication and he's feeling great. He's feeling the best he's felt since he had the op. So they've they've been toying with his medication like they do with all these things. Um, you know, the NHS is brilliant and they do the best for all of us, I'm sure. Um, and they've been working really hard with Pete to get him right. And I think they've got it now. He seems a lot happier. He actually walked a couple of hundred yards up the road, taking his little dog for a walk. And ironically... His little dog uh, has pulled a ligament in her leg. And so she's got to be careful now walking the road. So uh, he's looking after her and she's looking after him. And Jan, his wife, is looking after the pair of them. She's a wonderful nurse and she's got to be. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Pete's doing all right now. Uh, he's a lot better. He's still got to go back in, have his heart stopped and restart to get the rhythm correct again. But he's feeling good. So thank you for asking, Angela, and I'll, I'll pass that on to him. Wonderful. Okay, we're back to the A's. Any dream will do. How wonderful. We're going through this quite quickly tonight. Let's get back up there. Uh, and we're doing good on time, which is great. Any dream will do. Here we go. So, uh, I don't know how many people you've got in your house, but black is all, blue is men, green is ladies. Okay, so if one of you can play this loud in your house, play along to it and video yourself as well. So if you use your iPad to to uh, let me come up and play and then you use your camera on your phone to video yourself playing along we can have a, and send it to me we can put it on the website I would love to see some of you playing it would be wonderful It'd be really wonderful anyway here we go now I retired uh, five years ago and I remember writing this song for or tabbing it all up for um, Norman whilst I was still at work so we've had this song quite a while so I hope we get it correct. Here we go. Count of five. One, two, three, four, five. I close my eyes. Go 
see in front of that any dream Alan when you get a chance that'd be great lovely song lovely song everybody okay the next one is Big Girls Don't Cry uh, this is a song that St Mary Nukes did and uh, because we combined the books we brought it in uh, this is mainly sung by the, the ladies in our band and uh, they do a uh, stunning job of it I've got to find it first a stunning job of it so you'll see some different bits and bobs on there um, uh, yeah, so single chord intros to start with, um, G, D, C, D. Now what we normally do is, we do that, uh, as one of our lovely ladies would say, acapulco, acapella to you. So we do, big girls don't cry, but we would do it, big girls don't cry. However, on here there are some chords shown playing down strokes, hang on, that last song's killed my throat, hold on. There's some arrows on there showing downstrokes, so we'll play those downstrokes, okay? So here we go. In that sort of style, though. One, two, three, four. Big girls don't cry. Big girls don't cry. Whoa, i got to stop you there. got to stop you there. I just know that Dave uh, Maddock brown who's watching, plays bass for us, um, who actually played... Uh, with Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons, filled in for their bass player in the 60s. Uh, I know he's going to tell me to say, when you play the, the G, E minor, uh, G, E7, A minor, D, play it with a bit of style. Don't go... That's not how it goes, it goes... Okay, so just a little bit of attitude. So it's... mixture of up and down strokes and I can't describe the stroke pattern but have a little listen to it tomorrow and see if I've done it correctly you want a okay that sort of thing right I'm ready to go hi John Heslop hope you're feeling a little bit better here we go one two three 
singing it because I don't normally sing the, the other bits but that's all right we got there right now I want to take us to uh, let me find it first uh, I want to take you to the last thing on my mind I really struggled with this last week and Sue Maloney quite rightly tore me off a little bit of a strip for playing it in three four time now, I can't get that out of my head, but I've tried to today by doing this, going, and then starting it, C, and the intro, okay, and then going, it's a lesson. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to count four and I'm going to start playing. Uh, and we're going to play the intro twice and then we're going to play this song because we didn't do it last week and I want to get it done. Um, yeah, so I've done a little bit of work on it to see if I can get it correct in my head. So are we ready? One, two, three, four. And again, last thing on my mind.
okay for you and uh, I got it sort of right so that would be good if I did okay next one is close to you by the carpenters so if we find that one now we're on our C's how are we doing for time we're doing good for time so that's great um, close to you come on where are you yeah there we are okay so there's an F Better, better day. Thank you, Sue Maloney. Thank you, Johnny Esgo. Uh, so there's an F7 in this song, which is just a normal F, played like that, and then you put your ring finger on the uh, C string in the third fret. I will send your regards to Pete, Mike. So it starts. Sounding terrible. Yeah, it's the right chord. Ah, the intro. Okay, yeah, we got the intro. We got it. Good. Okay, so to play that F7. One, two, three. Close to you, we're doing. Have I told you that? You can cut the seconds to get this in case. Right. One, two, three, four. Why do men suddenly appear every time?
commentary I am not. <laughs> That's a lovely song, isn't it? Nice little changes in there as well. The A sus, A7 sus. To the a. Nice, nice chords, nice chords. Okay, next one. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Got to find that course. Uh, can't be don't worry, be happy. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's the last one of the Ds. Right. Uh, okay, twice through that pattern then. We ready? One, two. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Don't let stop. <laughs> Close to you, very good. Got to do that bit like Debs. Yes, we have. <laughs> we have. John's talking about my sister-in-law who has an amazing laugh, which starts off as and then builds up to this crescendo. <laughs> she loves the carpenters as well. Okay, don't worry, be happy. Are we ready? One, two. right 
<laughs> be the first one tonight, but it was. Okay, how are we doing for time? We're doing good, I hope. Come on, time. Ah, oh, we've got time for one more. Okay, so the next one. Uh, I know there was a bit of teaching going on in the middle, so that slowed us down, but we've done pretty good. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it tonight as well. Uh, hey Baby, we're on next. Hey Baby. So if you can find that. Uh, hey. I've got to play this through. So I hope some of it was uh, some of it was good tonight. You love that song, Sue Hiller, not the last one? Good. Well, I hope we did it all right for you. Um, it's a lovely little chord sequence. You can play around with it a little bit, can't you? Have some fun. Uh, look, we're nearly through this book. A couple more um, sessions and we'll be through it. Certainly by the time we come to St. Patrick's Night, which, as I said last week, I'm going to pick out from our books as many St. Patrick's or Irish songs as I can find in there, or folky type songs that fit the bill. Okay, and we'll have a St. Patrick's night on uh, the Wednesday. That I think St. Patrick's is on a Wednesday, actually. Uh, we'll have a little bit of St. Patrick's night that night. So uh, that'll be a bit of fun, something to look forward to. And then we would have done the whole book and we'll be back to either putting new stuff in or uh, getting rid of some of those we don't like, but also uh, playing songs of your request. And I think we do the St. Patrick's night. And then the very next week, we'll have any songs you want. We are rapidly approaching, having done this for a whole year, uh, it's the 4th of April is the anniversary, uh, but I actually did start two weeks before with the St Mary Newts on a Monday. So we are approaching having done this for a whole year, and uh, I'm sure, somebody said to me today actually, is Ed Rapidly a friend of mine in the village, uh, I was walking and I met him today and he said, uh, you know what, in six months time we'll have forgotten all about all this. And uh, whilst I don't think we will. It's kind of a nice thought, isn't it? Let's just forget about it and get on with our lives again and go and see our families and stuff. That would be wonderful. Um, looking forward to seeing my brother, i got to say. So, uh, And I know my wife is looking forward to seeing her sisters and my brother-in-laws, and I'm with her on that as well. So, anyway, 17th of March. I know, I know what day it is. Crikey, Angela, do you think I'm stupid? My name's Michael Healy, for God's sake. Do you not think I knew what day it was? And I won't be drinking... The cider. They'll be drinking the Guinness that night. We will for sure. Right, here we go. We ready? It's two beats on the red, uh, on the blues, four on the reds. Here we go. One, two. There we go. 
okay. I think we're there, aren't we, on time-wise? Yeah, one minute past. That's pretty good, isn't it? Hey, listen, have a... Uh, Soul Doctors, I used to love it. Oh, what a great song. Yeah, I can do that one for you. <laughs> um, yeah, great. Thank you very much, everybody, this week. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's a bit more organised than last week. I do apologise for last week. I'd had the jab and I was obviously a bit wound up about everything. Um, so I'll see you next week. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great week. We're getting one week closer all the time. And I'm sure that sometime in June, you guys will be able to get back together fully um, and enjoy each other's company and playing. So that's brilliant. Okay, see you all soon. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Stay safe.